everybody, um, welcome to this video on us highlighting certain features in Genesis Cloud. Um, and my name is Edgar Quadra, Senior Solution Consultant here at Start Telecom. Um, also during uh, during today's little presentation, Ryan and Alec from my team will be on the call too. We're gonna be dynamically talking about uh, Microsoft Dynamic um, during this conversation. Hi guys. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. So. Uh, what, are, what we're going to be showing today is just um, how the Microsoft Dynamics um, integration works with Genesis Cloud. And actually what I wanted to start with is talk about the Genesis Cloud Embeddable Framework. Um, it kind of acts like its own little product within the larger Genesis Cloud ecosystem. It has its own series of release notes and Genesis uh, tries really hard to make sure that this Embeddable Framework supports a lot of the uh, a lot of the web main UI features, um, such as uh, uh, calls, email, chats, um, and, and other kind of newer features like that, um, gradually get supported as a supported channel or other features as well. So if you do find this video useful, um, and if it's something you want to explore, obviously you can give us a contact and we'll help you figure that out. But you can go to this um, release notes or, or this um, article resource article and actually get more in depth and to see if the framework will suit your business uh, needs. Um, so actually to install Microsoft Dynamics um, you and the, and the connector that will enable Genesis Cloud to actually live within Microsoft Dynamics, um, you first have to start with um, a connector that has to get installed on your org um, here. So this is the Genesis Cloud um, first party connector. Um, App Foundry, different use cases. So I'm going to show inbound call um, and it does support chat and email and I click the dial feature. There's a couple screenshots, but I'm, I'm actually going to show that live. So uh, this is another resource you can come here and learn about the embeddable framework uh, for uh, Microsoft Dynamics. Yeah. So what does it look like? All right, so I have um, Microsoft Dynamics running here in a little sandbox environment. And on the right hand side under the widgets area, there is this add on. Um, it's actually labeled interaction, interaction sync. Um, but it's you open it up and it gives you a pretty uh, compressed version of the web UI that you're used to. So interactions will be available here. Um, start a new one, agent performance inbox. So everything you're kind of maybe used to on the left hand side of the main UI is available in this drop down menu and other options uh, for it as well. Once an interaction is connected, all those telephony options that we're used to are along the left hand side and are enabled uh, for that particular interaction. Um, and then finally, different queues or queue statuses or agent statuses are available um, as, a, as a drop down selection here. All right, so actually I already have a call queued up. I'm gonna go on queue. And if obviously the account is matched uh, with the Annie that's calling in, then it's going to do that screen pop. And so now I'm connected um, to my customer. And if their phone number, um, like I said, is matched to an account, it's going to do that screen pop for that particular account. Now as an agent, you know, that, that's increasing the um, the customer service. So I don't have to ask, I, I can already know who the customer is based on the name, based on what the screen pop is. Um, as far as I know, you should be able to do some screen pop customization or, or what screen pop that you want to pop. That's more of a Microsoft dynamic behavior, but you can pass through various uh, uh, variables that, that the embeddable framework supports or even through the data actions and APIs between Microsoft Dynamics and Genesis Cloud, um, we can take grab information from the IBR and pass it through to Genesis, uh, to, um, so to Microsoft Dynamics through this in, in a venerable framework and make the, the customer experience more rich. Um, so what do I mean by that is a couple of um, dynamic IBR um, kind of scenarios that you can potentially think about in your company here. Um, number one, so let's say uh, you press in with the, when you call in the IBR, uh, because now the IBR can look you up 
based on your phone number, and that's already tied to an account in Microsoft Dynamics. Um, when the customer calls in, we can uh, the IVR can actually refer to them by name. So if you're Quadra, how can I help you today? And then we can present a couple options like this. Um, do you, are you calling about your most recent case? Press one or say yes. If you press one or say yes, then the IVR can actually read out the subject line of that ticket that they're calling in for and say, are you calling in for this one? Subject line this or that one? Press one, press two, press three. Uh, depending on how many tickets you're open or what you're, you set your business filters to be with the, for the IVR to display open cases. Maybe to create a new case, um, right? Or something like that or anything along those lines, or um, or even we can have um, another option, since now we know who potentially handled your case or who's the case owner. Um, that's a variable that we can look up uh, through the CRM data and then present that. Do you want to talk to your case owner or the last agent that handled your case? So whatever your kind of business scenarios could be, um, now that we have this rich data source to pull from and do routing decisions on, um, we can definitely make your experience a lot uh, easier uh, for the customer and for the agent. Um, guys, do you have anything to add there? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I just want to well ask a question and add something. So the first question is: uh, Are we is more rather is Genesis Cloud still recommending uh, to not have um, open like two instances of Genesis, such as the embeddable? Framework widget and the Genesis Cloud solution. Because yeah. if I do recall, for each any other kind of integration with any other CRM, that is kind of the recommended usage, just to avoid some, you know, um, hearing the customer twice in your headphones type behavior and stuff like that. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's a great point, Alex. So yeah, it's definitely recommended um, to make sure that your agents are trained on using if you're going the dynamic this embeddable framework route you only have this window open you do not have genesis open in a new tab um it's going to cause a couple of things status syncing issues ringing in two different browsers where i'm going to answer the call either you know in that main ui browser tab or in this one um just a, a very unpleasant uh, user experience if you do have genesis opened on two tabs great point there alan thank you yeah, because it, it is standard uh, or rather common agent behavior to just keep multiple tabs open up anything that they need is, uh, during the day. And yep. you know, it's just something to keep in mind if you're running a business and operations to always have those internal communications sent out to you know, guys who just use, um, just log into that MX. And what I want to add really is um, kind of kind of on on that custom integration front and when i say custom integration so which actions will be triggered by that uh incoming uh, incoming interaction that can be anything and nothing as well and that is all custom so everything is built right. out to the ivr um, well within the ivr and even post ivr it could be you know kind of some some actions that are tied um, or some actions on the Dynamics 365 front that are actually tied to the agent script that you could still pop open in the Genesis widget, if I'm not mistaken. So okay. it could, you could technically have two uh, toolbars or two kind of, kind of tool sets in front of you, one kind of residing within Dynamics and the other one residing uh, within Genesis, but still visible on the same screen, which I think could add for some missing um, for, for some missing functionalities in either one of these two pieces of software. And yep. once again, it's all custom, but I think that there is a lot of value in exploring, um, you know, kind of, kind of complementing the two systems with the other one, I think. Yep. Yeah, you mentioned scripts. So let's say you do use Genesis uh, agent scripts as part of your workflow. Um, you can pull those up here. Um, so you notice that there was a script button here, then I can actually call and use some of the Genesis Cloud scripting behavior or workflow in um, just just right on top of Microsoft Dynamics. So it's it's a very um, customizable way of, of, and Genesis does give that option to really um, figure out what is the optimal workflow for your agents. Yeah. 
Um, a couple more details here that automatically get added to the case once once I actually do save this. But um, the actual interaction ID and call recording data would be available in the case uh, in this particular um, case. Once I do uh, save this, let me just uh, quickly do a little save here. Um, yeah. Save and close. I think I have to do a new case. Uh, there would be an area here where the actual conversation ID um, related to this particular call, once I probably do actually have to save it, um, it will allow me to go ahead and um, sync it up here. So um, as you start running your own reports within Microsoft Dynamics, um, you'll be able to uh, look at what the Genesis Cloud interaction was. So here we go, um, the URL. So it could, it's a clickable URL. So this will open up the call recording directly in the Genesis environment. Um, it also, once the call is saved, um, you'll be able to actually listen to the call recording directly in the Genesis, in the Dynamics environment. So it's a pretty handy feature, really all encompassing uh, to make, to see again, to complement your company's workflow. Um, if needed. Okay. So I'm going to end this call. Notice all the telephony options are available here. If you are, a, if your company is a heavy user of transfers, so both blind and console transfers are available, people in queues, and this is pulling from the available people's and queues resources from the actual Genesis um, or, or, or your environment. Okay. I'm going to end this particular call. And the last thing I kind of want to show here is the is the click dial. So um, if I go to my customer accounts, contacts in here, and if there's a particular number or a list of contacts that I want to get called on, um, I'm going to just type in my previous phone number that I called in from before. I don't work right now. So anywhere that I, I any phone number that I see here, um, and if it's, if it's enabled here, um, a click the dial option will appear and I'll be able to go ahead and do click the dial uh, from this environment. Yes, yeah, so I end the overview of the Microsoft Dynamics and Genesis Cloud Embeddable Framework demo. Um, Ryan, do you have any comments you'd like to add as well? Yeah, it, this is really interesting looking at it and because it's really going to help get essentially new orgs spun up fairly quickly, especially if you are someone who's already using Microsoft Dynamics, you're not gonna, it, it's not gonna have as much time to train your agents because if you're already using the, the platform, we're really just adding the Genesis capabilities on top of the Dynamics interface. Mm -hmm. yep. So that everything kind of really becomes a lot more efficient that way, which is fantastic. So giving a little bit more time to your agents and not having to spend as long with the training and with getting them to flip between the different different platforms, you're able to get a lot more work done without wasting so much. Yeah, those are great points, Ryan. Yeah, I've uh, the ramp up time i think for a heavy dynamics business user um it would yeah be a very key um selling point or feature um for implementing such an integration like this one all right so i think that's it everybody thank you for joining our video uh today um i hope you learned something and um again if you have any questions or further questions please reach out to ourselves here at star telecom and we'll be more than happy to help you um, solve those uh, business questions around this integration or even anything Genesis Cloud related. Thank you for your time.